A Tennessee Republican candidate for mayor has been busted stealing photos of women and passing them off as her own supporters. It's a fantastic story. Uh, lots of twists and turns here. Uh, so now the candidate is Franklin Alderman Gabriel Henson, a MAGA Republican uh, who is both uh, anti-LGBTQ, anti-Black history, uh, anti-Juneteenth, even. Crazy. Uh, so now News Channel 5 uh, did some great investigative work and, uh, you know, uh, looked at Hansen uh, and investigated her for essentially taking images of diverse women from across the country and using them on her campaign's social media accounts. I want to show you an example here of the most egregious example. So that uh, was posted, again, by her Facebook page. And look at that. It looks like a very lovely, diverse brunch crew. Gabriel Hansen, uh, our heartfelt appreciation goes out to the Executive Women's Club for their invaluable support and encouragement. Franklin Tien, vote Hansen. So uh, notice this, since the left seems so excited about saying that these people are not supporters locally, here are the facts. These are all friends that have relocated to Nashville, Brentwood, and Franklin, and they all support me. Only one of them is left in Chicago. I will get to that in a minute. So now this Executive Women's Club, let me point out that it's not real. <laughs> and the women actually had no idea that they were being used in her political ad. So now that was part of an ad campaign, but it was for a women's clothing brand called The Limited. So now one woman in the photo, uh, April, was interviewed by News Channel 5 uh, and basically showed the photo and was asked, uh, what do you make of this? Quote, I honestly don't know. They asked, do you support Gabrielle Hansen? She replied, I do not. I actually do not know who that is. Hmm. As, so as far as you know, you have never ever uh, even met Gabrielle Hansen. Quote, no, and I have a pretty good memory. I keep a tight circle of friends and colleagues, and I think I would have remembered someone like that. She added, I'm wondering how this person doesn't have other photos of other friends or actual supporters. <laughs> it's a really far stretch to dig up a photo from social media from seven years ago of just what was a really delightful brunch of a group of women who I had just met. That was a sort of brunch that came together just to celebrate each other and to celebrate the ad campaign, again, for the women's clothing line. Now, there's a second woman. Uh, who also weighed in, uh, who asked to be not identified. Uh, she described the reaction from several of the other women in the group as, quote unquote, appalled, absolutely appalled. It's not true. It didn't happen. And everyone in that photo knows it. So I mentioned this is a uh, pretty old seven years. OK, this was taken in 2016 in Chicago. Well, let's get back to that little caption that she put. Since the left seems so excited about saying these people are not supporters locally, here are the facts. These are all friends that have relocated to Nashville, Brentwood, and Franklin, and they all support me. Hmm. Again, taken in 2016 in Chicago. And of course, the reason that she put up this note is because people online were like, that does not look like Chicago. <laughs> I'm sorry, that does not look like Tennessee. That looks like Chicago. And so that's when she post posted that update and double down. Now, here's what, uh, here's what April responded when, uh, you know, presented with that argument. Quote, I know some of those women are not located in the places that she named. Some of those women are still in Chicago and other parts of the country, but not Tennessee. Already caught in quite a lie. But it gets even more unhinged. Hansen finally returned a phone call and what they called a bizarre and rambling conversation, Hansen and campaign aide Aaron Mazzoni actually refused to answer any of the questions about the post, saying that a federal court had upheld the rights of candidates to post whatever they want. Well, that, that's a nice dodge. Now, here's the thing, right? There, there's a, a significant difference between, you know, posting things and stealing other people's images to misrepresent them 
when it comes to your political campaign. I'm just saying, big difference there, okay? Furthermore, Hanson and Mazzoni suggested News Channel 5's questions amounted to stalking. Yes, stalking. Mazzoni said, quote, this is not appropriate towards a woman, Phil. How dare you? How dare you ask me difficult questions about something that I did? You're stalking me. Quit it. How sexist of you. Oh. In fact, he continued by saying, quote, we are doing this in the light. And we are doing this with God on our side. Yes, because uh, apparently God would uh, endorse this kind of behavior. Unhinged. Absolutely unhinged. This is definitely what you say when you've been busted. And as such, during the phone call, Hansen again changed her story, saying, quote, they live all over the country, and we get together very regularly. Bullshit. Bullshit. That is not only a lie, but again, it's a massive lie. These women want absolutely nothing to do with Hansen. In fact, New Channel 5 investigates asked the second woman if she would ever support any of Hansen, uh, Hansen's positions. Her answer, quote, no, no, not if she were the last candidate on earth. Absolutely not. Hmm, not, a, not, not much of a ringing endorsement there, okay? More. These are not the positions that anyone that I am in touch with on the advertising campaign would condone or support. Mm. April, her response says, I do racial equity work that supports old people and all good, beautiful expressions that people show up in life. So I certainly do not want to be associated with anything like that, meaning Hanson. A third woman, who also asked not to be identified, provided News Channel 5, investigates with a written statement, saying, quote, I am appalled at the misuse of this photograph and the inaccurate representation of what is happening in it. Such blatant falsehoods being published exemplify the character of a candidate. As I've learned more about Gabrielle Hansen and her views, such an egregious attempt to show diverse female support is disgusting. They all support me, she says. Now, by the way, this post, so embarrassing, she ended up taking it down. The whole thing, gone, off the internet. <laughs> Except it never really disappears off the internet, but you know what I mean. So here's what I think what happened. Okay, so so this lady doesn't have a lot of support, or at least no diverse support. I think I know exactly the kind of support that she gets, and it's generally old white conservative males. Okay, uh, and apparently for some reason she's like, oh, maybe not. Uh, doesn't look good. Uh, okay, uh, let me just Google some diverse women and claim that they're supporters. Oh, that looks like a good picture. Right click, save as, it's mine. They all support me now, ha <laughs> ha. No one's gonna ever find out. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay, again, the reason you do that is because you don't have any diverse support. It'd be super easy for her, if she had that support, to go and go to an event and take a picture with her actual supporters. Why doesn't she do that? We all know the answer. But look, here's what, at the end of the day, this, this tells you exactly who she is, okay? Uh, she knows she doesn't have any of that kind of support. And, they, and, and it's because they hold abhorrent positions. So when presented with that, they don't change their positions. They just make things up. In this case, making up supporters that aren't really there. And using people's, actual real people's pictures in order to do so. It is sad, pathetic. And if you're one of these women, absolutely infuriating. <laughs>